the one often overlooked product platform that has never truly reached the potential I had envisioned for it over the years are Chrome Bases. If you said that word in public, I highly doubt anybody would even know what that meant. Like Chrome Bases? Really? Like nobody knows what a Chrome Base is. An all-in-one Chrome OS computer that not only has the simple operation of a Chromebook, but also the library of the full app store on Android sounds like a recipe perfect for modern consumption. HP certainly hasn't given up on the form factor as I'm reviewing the HP Chromebook 21 and a half inch all in one in what might be the most luxurious all in one Chrome base ever made. Straight out of the box, the main selling point for me is the rotating display. I love the fact that the 21 and a half inch full HD display can rotate between horizontal and vertical orientation. We don't need to go in depth about Android apps as it is common knowledge now that Chrome OS and the Google Play Store are merged together harmoniously. Well, to an extent, you know, there's still issues even to this day, but it works pretty well. It makes a whole lot of sense from a design standpoint to be able to operate the display in two different orientations then in this current time of tech history. Vertical apps are prevalent in our daily use of applications and having that option to view them in a relatively similar aspect ratio is just a premium addition to the user experience. The fact that this all-in-one is also a touchscreen display just adds to that blending of a smartphone experience onto a computing platform. It's hypothetically seamless to transition the two together. Chrome OS as an operating system is also the most likely operating system to find a way to incorporate mobile apps onto a computer, seeing as Google has been trying to perfect it for years now. Microsoft and Apple are only beginning to come to grips on how to handle their mobile and computing integration. My main goal with the Chrome base was to replace BlueStacks on Windows as a way to have an effective mobile gaming farming solution. I'm an addict to Korean gacha games, as well as certain PvP games like Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, which I have meticulously returned to, and I know it's uh, it's on the Steam store too. Uh, the, the latter is a game that is naturally played in portrait mode on a smartphone, though, and there are countless apps that have integrated into my life that naturally operate in portrait mode. To have an option to utilize a larger vertical orientation for that experience was very enticing. A webcam is also located in a decent location to be utilized by apps in both orientations. It has a shutter cover to keep the hackers from spying on your dog training sessions. Fundamentally, I don't think there's anything I dislike about the display and its rotating mechanism. It's smooth and doesn't really occupy much space when changing its form. 1080p is also sharp enough on this 21 and a half inch screen to be used for entertainment purposes. I run internet TV channels on the background with this Chrome, Chrome base in portrait mode while I work on my other computers like that all the time. It's crazy luxurious to be able to have all three of these operating systems handle distinct individual tasks. Using the three different operating systems all together also really allows me to learn on a personal level how to utilize each OS to their fullest and most enjoyable. Chrome OS is objectively one of the best systems to browse the internet on. After all, the OS is named after a web browser for that reason. Chrome OS never, in the past, it never really needed specs, like hardware specs, to have a smooth experience. That is still the case for web work here in 2022, but... With Android slowly like spreading its influence over the structure of this operating system, specs are more important than they've ever been now. The HP Chrome base uses an Intel Pentium Gold G5600 processor with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of SSD. It's supported with an Intel UHD Graphics 600. Just 5 years ago, those specs would be quite impressive for a Chromebook. Now. It's a per but like a potential detractor. As much as I would have liked to like use this all in one for more of my daily routines, it simply cannot handle some of the workload I run on Android. 
This mainly applies to many of the mobile games I circulate, which consists of those anime-style RPGs. These gacha games essentially run themselves with what gamers classify as farming for material and rewards on auto mode. Like, you've all played these before, right? Instead of draining my smartphone's battery throughout the day, my goal was to run these games on the Chrome base, which is constantly plugged into a power source. Not all of them, however, worked as nicely as I was hoping for. Even now, Chrome OS does still have some optimization issues with Android apps. The experience is further hampered with frame drops and app crashes as the unit struggles through operation. We've seen Android apps struggle on Intel chipsets on Chrome OS before in the past, and this is unfortunately more of the same here on some of these games that I play. Seeing as gaming has left me with mixed results, I have found myself gravitating towards media consumption on the HP Chrome base. Instead, it's my main go-to now. Watching YouTube videos on portrait mode while browsing through the comments section is... It's such an addicting experience. Like, I now find myself missing this type of viewing experience when working on a landscape monitor that doesn't have this extra vertical real estate like this like these ones behind me here web browsing with my finger in portrait mode is also something i've come to enjoy a lot more vertically than horizontally the touchscreen is extremely responsive and lucid with input this of course isn't something exclusively available on the hp chrome base as anyone can rotate their monitor and work on an, an, any operating system and do the same kind of thing but the big difference is the ease and convenience of which the two experiences can be swapped between. For the most part, it's seamless with the occasional one or two second delay between the refreshes. There are certain times though on boot up where the login menu is locked into landscape mode while the display itself is in portrait mode. It usually takes like a soft reset to get things synced back to normal and, and it's good after that. The body that houses all the guts of the PC is located inside of a fabric cone-shaped body that resembles what I think is like a Sonos speaker. The monitor has a matte plastic finish that combines with the fabric cone to make a rather kind of like premium appearance. A lot of personal computing options have been designed to fit this like modern furniture aesthetic, and this follows that trend. It will go really nicely in any room setting. Hidden neatly behind the display on the cone is a speaker grill. Volume is pushed straight at you from behind the monitor, and it gets quite loud and surprisingly doesn't get muffled by the monitor. On the opposite side are the ports and the power button. There are two sets of USB-C and USB-A ports alongside a 3.5mm headphone jack. The volume rockers are off to the side of the cone. This is essentially a portless system as HP includes a fully Bluetooth keyboard and a mouse that doesn't require receivers. I have it plugged anything into the ports in like literally weeks. That's that's awesome to have. There's a lot to like about the HP Chrome base, but the biggest issue is that there's nothing out there that really competes with it. That is an issue. There is a niche here that I believe will get users a, a chance to experience something that they can't experience anywhere else. Sadly though, many people will skip this computer as an option and I can't blame them for that. You can do essentially everything this all-in-one can do on a Windows all-in-one computer. What you can't find anywhere else is a premium Chrome-based product that looks good physically and gives you access to a mobile-friendly orientation and all the mobile-friendly apps that you like. I found myself really enjoying this specific use case. Like, most people need to operate everything on one system. That's all they can afford, so this might not work out for them. Well, that said... There are Chrome OS enthusiasts who really understand the immensely enjoyable and simplistic experience of that Google operating system. This is such a fun departure from the laptop space that I highly, highly recommend for lovers of Chromebooks to try this out. I think you'll very much fall in love with it too. Well, look at that. You made it to the end of the video. Be sure to subscribe, follow us at all our social media links, and also definitely check out our website, sypnotics.com. You won't regret it.